Hi, I'm Victoria Ballou, and welcome to my YouTube channel. You came here because your intuition told you to choose a stack of cards. So, which stack of cards will you choose? Will it be underneath Vesta, my warrior priestess, who represents intellect and power and courage? Or would it be underneath this beautiful rock that was fossilized from a shell millions of years ago, which represents strength and growth? Or would it be under the quartz obelisk, which represents endurance and power? Choose the stack that resonates with you and see what your intuition wants you to know today. It does have a message for you, so let's begin. We'll start with stack one and scoot Vesta over and take a look at the first card, which is your overview. Your overview is energy from a very broad standpoint, and it's where you are right now in this moment. So let's see where that is. So you have the Eight of Swords in the Toth deck. This is called interference. This means that there is something blocking your energy, and it's something that is dealing with your intellect, with your thinking meaning there are probably two things that are standing in your way. Maybe there's a decision that you need to make right now, but there is some hindrance that is either large or small that is, is creating a problem for you. That's what this card is signifying. It's saying that you cannot move forward in your thinking with the way that you are perceiving things at this moment because there's a choice to make because there is something that is interfering with this forward movement of your energy. So we're going to take a look at the second card, which is your challenge. And this could be something that you understand immediately is your challenge, or it could be something small, something nagging. And if it's one of those challenges, then it could be related to one of your beliefs. We all have beliefs from childhood. And unless we consciously address them and move them forward if they are not benefiting us, then they will hang on and create challenges for us as we go through our lives. So let's see which one this is. Let's take a look. So it's the Three of Wands. It's called Virtue. And as we look at this as being a challenge, you know, a virtue is something that is your moral compass. It's the character, it's the integrity that you move through life. That's the energy that this card represents. But it's in your challenge position today. So what that is referring to, as we look at it <clears throat> with the Eight of Swords, we're seeing, we're getting a little more definition on what is challenging you because there is something that's interfering and it definitely has to do with some sort of issue with your character. <clears throat> There's something that's not matching up. As you move forward or are wanting to move forward, something in the way that um, that is an obstacle, there's an obstacle that's being created with the, uh, the whole character, the whole moral compass that you have here. So uh, this being your challenge, we're understanding why you can't move forward because this is really saying that uh, you're, you're getting to a real foundational point here where there is a conflict. That's why we have this third card which um, is your course of action called for. And this is telling you, this is the tarot, this is your subconscious energy telling you how to move forward to address this issue. Let's take a look at what it is. So you have the Knight of Discs. The Knight of Discs can represent a person, it can represent you, or it could represent someone in your life, someone coming into your life, or it could be simply an energy that's present in your life. Uh, and let's figure out which one it is, because what if the Knight of Discs represents is energy that is um, focused on either health or finances or both, because 
Uh, this, this is energy that can re represent either or or both. And if you look at him here, he's most knights are in action. They're very dynamic and they're taking action in something. But here the knight of discs has dismounted from his horse. He's moved his helmet back. He's, he's taking a break. His horse is actually eating. And so he has, uh, he's in a pause mode here. And that is what you need to do. That is your course of action called for at this point. And this is a, a, a moment where you can capture what needs to be addressed here in, in this conflict that you have between this Eight of Swords and this Three of Wands. Because clearly there is an intellectual matter, there is something that you're thinking about that you're not able to go forward with because it's conflicting on a real um, conscious, moral, or character-driven level. And so as this conflict is building, this is, this is your chance to, to take a break and hit that pause button and pull it all together as far as what you need to do to reassess is what this is saying exactly. So no action is called for at this moment, rather simply the action of going inside, allowing your head and your heart to address this and see what you come up with. Now, from a dream symbol standpoint, I would bet that you are dreaming about a bed, that you are asleep in a bed, and this bed could more than likely be something that is unmade, un uncomfortable, something that is not your perfect sleeping environment. So that is what beds represent in dreams. It's the assimilation of your thoughts. When you dream about a bed, that's saying, here you have the opportunity to assimilate your thoughts, to let your mind relax and pull your thoughts together. And that is what you need to be doing. So in your dreams, if you're having uh, a dream about an unmade bed or, or sleeping uncomfortably, this is your indication that it's time for you to collect your thoughts and bring them together. This is very important for you right now because then you will find out exactly what you need to do. But for the moment, hit that pause button in action until you do bring those thoughts together. Now let's take a look at the second stack underneath this beautiful shell that began life as a shell millions of years ago. So the first card we're going to look at is the overview. And this is your energy from a very broad standpoint, the balcony view. Let's think of it as the balcony view so that you can understand where you are right now from a very conscious place because uh, we think that we are ruled by our conscious minds, really, it's our subconscious, and that's what the tarot does, is that it brings our subconscious aspects into our conscious awareness. So let's take a look at your overview. So you have the Queen of Discs. This is energy or a person. It can represent you, it can represent someone in your life, someone coming into your life, or simply the energy of coming through a, a period of trial, something where you are really working to move through a hard, difficult time, and you did. Now, discs, of course, represent our physical reality. They can represent money, they can represent property, they can represent our jobs. This is what this energy is talking about, is that you have are in a place right now where you feel like you have moved through a very trying time, and it could have been a, a, a long span of time, but you feel like you have reached a place where you're no longer in that difficult period, and that you're able to, to step back and look at where you've come from, and that you have a lot of wisdom as a result of where, uh, where you have come from. So you're in a good position here. From an overview position, this is, this is a very positive place. Now, you do have challenge energy here, so let's take a look and see what that is. So it's the Ten of Wands. In the Toth deck, they call it oppression. This is saying that you do feel pressure right now, some sort of stress, 
something that is feeling like it's at a breaking point where you there needs to be a change where you really have to uh, deal with something because it has become very oppressive. So that is what our third card is all about, your course of action called for. Let's take a look at what that is because with this Queen of Discs and this Ten of Wands, it's saying that you're in a good place, but there is something. It could be something big or it could be something small. If you don't know what it is right away that's challenging you, then it's probably some sort of belief that you've had for a long time that just nags at you that needs to be addressed right now, that your subconscious is saying needs to be addressed. So let's take a look at what your course of action called for is. Well, it's the Empress, this beautiful sign of abundance and nurturing. Taking care of yourself is what this course of action called for card is. And it's saying that you need to return to that place with this Queen of Discs energy where you're looking at the wisdom that you've attained, the place that you are right now, and understand that that is what you can regain despite this feeling of oppression that is clearly um, in your energetic field right now. This Empress energy is saying, recognize the abundance in your life. Recognize where you have come from and where you are right now. And you will find the way to keep moving forward with this current oppressive state. Because clearly with this Queen of Discs energy, you've already learned how to deal with situations like this. And this is really just another... Uh, uh, step in this journey of yours, coming through the trials, coming through, making through the um, effort that is necessary to the other side where you have, um, where you have come out without this, this oppressive energy. Now, from a dreaming standpoint, symbolically, I bet you're dreaming of music, you're hearing music, and you're probably either playing it or listening to it, and it's um, discordant, meaning it's probably maybe you're feeling like it is out of tune, or it's music you're not liking, something is, is not quite in sync with this music. And that is where this Empress energy is saying you need to regain this beautiful harmony because that's what music represents in dreams is harmony except when it is out of tune or when it is discordant so that is probably what your subconscious is telling you is is to take take that pause allow yourself to regain the awareness of the, the abundance that's in your life and how you have moved through those times that were trying, and how you can do it again with this challenge that you have before you right now. All right, well, let's take a look at the third stack of cards. The first card we're going to look at is your overview card. And of course, this is your energy from a very, very broad standpoint right now. So let's take a look at what it is. You know, you have the Ten of Swords. It's called Ruin in this uh, deck, in the Toth deck. I'm really glad that uh, if you chose this, I'm really glad that you're here right now because let's work through this energy. Let's, let's see what we can do to make this uh, move for you, move through this. Because this Ten of Swords is um, energetically something that, that speaks of you being really at a, a point where you're just feeling angry, where you're feeling like you're at the, the point where, um, you know, you're going insane with not being able to deal with something. This is a, this is a pretty um, a nasty card energetically at first glance, but what it also means is that you're at the point to make this change, right? And that it's just where you are right now. You're right at the pinnacle of saying, I can't deal with this anymore. 
this is not working, and I have to change this. And of course, swords uh, represent our thinking, our intellect, and so this is very much on your mind, but it could represent anything from a relationship to your job, to where you live, to any number of situations, but it is saying that it's time to change, and therefore we have your challenge energy uh, right here. So let's take a look at what this card represents. So it's the Four of Swords. It's called Truce. And indeed, this is what you need to do right now, is just not make this situation any worse by pushing it into um, an unreasonable place. Um, if you have uh, created what I call mind ruts, where you have a tape playing over and over about the situation that is not creating any sort of solution for you, then you need to take a pause here. That's what this is saying. You need to give yourself a break and allow yourself the time to, uh, to figure out what's going on from a very reasonable standpoint. Because this Ten of Swords is really... You know, it's, it's ruin. It's like the final episode, the final chapter of something. But what that means is that beyond it is the beginning of something else. And so that's the energy that this Four of Swords truce is talking about. And it's also swords. It's talking about, um, you know, dealing with your mind, dealing with your thoughts. So take a break with this, okay? Give yourself a break. And that, that is the challenge, and I see that. Let's look at the third card, your course of action called for, because this is what the tarot, what your subconscious has brought you here today to understand that you need to do. Well, good. It's the four of wands. It's completion. This is saying, indeed, it is time to wrap this up. Four of wands is saying time to, to close this chapter and move on. There are many ways to do this, but your you're going to need to look at the most appropriate way for you to do this. It needs to be something reasonable and rational, something that feels right to you that will indeed solve this problem. And you can solve it from a very logical standpoint and once and for all. When, you, when this card comes up as your course of action called for, it means that energetically, this is the time for you to do that. The timing is right, and it's not impossible for you to do that. Even though from your overview standpoint, it feels like it, it's out of control, it's really not. You're, you're just coming to the end of something, and that's what this Four of Wands is representing for you. So from a dreaming standpoint, I would bet that you are in a house, and perhaps it's a house you don't recognize, um, and you're feeling very um, either unwelcome or uncomfortable in it, and moving through it with energy that, that feels like you're lost or afraid. Because, you know, houses represent our minds. In dreams, houses represent aspects of our minds. And if you're feeling uncomfortable as you're walking through a room or walking through a house, then that means that you're just uncomfortable with your mind right now and where your mind is. Once you begin working through this with the determination to solve this problem, to bring it to a conclusion, to no longer allow it to be in this critical place, but actually take it forward into completion, it's going to solve all of your problems. You'll stop having that dream and you'll resolve this problem. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments because I always want to know how I can help you with your dreams and any questions you have about tarot. You can also subscribe to my magazine. Astrologicmagazine.com is where you will find it. There's lots of information about tarot and dreams and astrology, sound healing, past life regression, all sorts of subjects in the metaphysical world that uh, we all need right now to move forward. We're a questing community, and this is the way that we can use ancient science and put it into modern practice.